Right then. Right then. It's Thursday Night Live with Paul and Carol. <laughs> but I wanted to first say, on the thumbnail, I put Paul's birthday plans. And already we're having people saying happy birthday to Paul. His birthday is not till August. It was just that well, obviously we've got some plans already starting. So I don't want people thinking that it's your birthday today because it's not, is it, Paul? It's not. But all I can say to you is when it was Carol's 50th birthday, she started her planning of the 50th birthday about 18 months before. I did. And she actually started the first part of her 50th birthday celebrations was actually seven months before her birthday. So, I mean, I'm only four months away. So really it's, well, it's, yes, I did do that, but I just, <laughs> <laughs> but I just, that was my 50th. This is your even bigger birthday, Paulie. Well, if it was my 51st, it'd be bigger, wouldn't it? Well, I suppose. <laughs> so, yeah. So, please, um, it's just not his birthday. It's actually in August. Um, so, we're here to talk about, obviously, what plans we've already got in place that, that Paul wants to do for his birthday. We're here to talk about um, any questions that you have about cruising and travel. So, please do get those in the comments. Um, please do write question. Nick's put it already here. So, thanks, Nick, for doing that. If you've got a question, start your comment question. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. That's always a bonus, yeah. too. So, if you have got anything first, just write it so we can spot it because everyone starts chatting in the comments and it goes so fast. It does. Uh, Nick BBT, I think he's our new head of um, IT, isn't he? Head of IT because he's really IT. <laughs> ah, Nick's one of our patrons. We had our Zoom. We do laugh because um, Nick's fab and his wife Tracy. We have such fun. Um, but uh, working a laptop isn't his. Um, no. What's the word? He spent half an hour trying to watch <laughs> our live once and he was looking at a shoebox. No. <laughs> oh, anyway, we're going to start off with. Um, we had a, a fantastic. Thing come through the mail today, didn't we, Pauline? I just want to share this, and I just want to say that it's quite a very heartwarming. What I what I'm trying to say is, when we come on our lives on a Thursday and see all you guys here, it just makes our day, and um, we get so many good lots of feedback. We get some that's a little bit uh, not so much. What's the matter with your hair? Yeah, it's gone funny, but I couldn't work out which side my edit was because it's weird, isn't it? Looking at yourself on the screen. Yeah. Like anyway, um, today through the post, we we received a package, and I thought, oh, is that the drill that Paul ordered, or um, um, some notebooks that I'd ordered? But when I opened it, it was a lovely um, note and a gift. And I've already spoken and emailed um, Tom and Lynn that sent us this gift, but I want to share it with you because this just makes our day and makes starting our YouTube channel and our website and and. Getting to know all you guys, it, it means the world, doesn't it, Pauline? I'm sorry. Don't, don't, you have to let me know when you're going to look at me. So I won't drink <laughs> yes, it does. it does. So this came through with the, the um, present. And on there, it says a selection just for you. It says, hi, Paul and Carol. We've put together a small gift for two reasons. The first by way of a thank you for your enjoyment, for the enjoyment we get from your vlogs and lives, as well as the great advice you give about cruising and destinations. We love the objectivity. Secondly, to bring back some cruising memories, the selections inside. Now, inside here, you'll see this is from Berry Fresh Bakery. Um, and you'll see that they've sent us three different types of jams. And oh, my. Now, in the interest of fairness, so we're not accused of pro product placement, other flavors are available other, other bakeries <laughs> are available no but i've got to say um we started off with the, the the tomato and chili jam which is this one here which they said the nearest we could do for a bloody mary for carol then we had the real ale chutney which is it says tom put this is apple based and tom put cider vinegar in this one paul and then the strawberry jam with prosecco so we continued Continue the scone debate, whether it's the Devon way with cream first or the Cornish way with jam first. And, you know, we've had all three today with some cheese, haven't we, and some crackers. And, oh, my gosh, they are delicious. Strangely, Absolutely delicious. Carol even had the strawberry jam with cheese. And it was fab. Because she's weird. <laughs> so I just wanted to say. And there's no say, debate, by the way. It's jam, then cream. There's no debate. 
I say jam than cream. No, I don't. <laughs> I say cream than jam. I was getting confused. But anyway, back to um, Berry Fresh Bakery. So I just want we just want to say thank you so much, Tom and Lynn. It's an absolute um, awesome to get a gift through the post. But also for you guys out there, I just wanted to share um, this fantastic produce because if you look here, you can find Berry Fresh Bakery on, on Facebook and their uh, website's here. And they're based in Cheshire, Malpas in Cheshire. So um, that's just awesome, isn't it, Pauline? Yes, it is. So thank you so much. And I do also... check them out because, honestly, the, I think the tomato and chilli, we're very much... Is the... this going to be an hour or something No, no, no. Jam? But sometimes to, you get. we've had lots of chilli jam in the past and it's never got that bite for us, has it? Yeah. So okay. but, anyway, but thank jam. you so much. <laughs> oh, so there we are. So that I was a great surprise some... today. I also, I'm going to get a word in edgeways in a minute. I also had a surprise in the mail, which was a tax reminder for my car. Yes. But you received, didn't you? Do you want to talk about one, well, of, your, I, one of your birthday presents? That I'm you've frightened already to done. talk about anything now, mate, because you'll take it like two hours just talking about it. What oh, is that? Which, which one the is first, that? One thing you wanted to treat yourself for the birthday. What was it? I can't remember. No. Oh, I've lost it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, Carl's tied in my paperwork up, which means if it's not her paperwork, it just gets could be anywhere now. It could be down the garden. But um, we chatted last week about me buying a personalised number plate. Yes. And immediately after the live, I've purchased the said number plate, and I've now had the documentation through, so I can get some plates made up and I can transfer it over to my vehicle. Yes, do speak up while you're whispering. <laughs> oh, there's lots of debates now going on about jam and cream in the. Um... There's no debate. <laughs> Cruiser Gazer here. So, hi, guys. Jam always first. Of course, it is. It's all about oh, viscosity. Tony's saying that uh, even all cream first if it's a National Trust scone. Cream is thick to go on the top, more like butter. Why a National Trust scone? Maybe they're I the know. best. I don't know. Tina said, oh God, there's, everything's jumping around. Dairy products first, says Andy and Christine. Uh, cream first, then jam. Mm. <sighs> Butter cream, then jam. Tom and Dom are here and saying we go cream first. See? Ah. So lots and lots of debate about that. And Will has got the perfect answer here. Eat half the scone, the devil way, flip it upside down, and the other half is Cornish. So there you are. So let's go straight to the questions. So let's go back right up to the top. There's so many people saying hello, so thank you so much. Bridget was first here today, so ho, ho, hi. So lovely to see you here. Tony's here from a sunny Florida. We've had sunshine today, actually, but then it started to rain again, didn't it? But that's the weather here in the UK. It's just... Um... But anyway, let's go straight to the uh, first question, um, which is, I have a question, says David Webb. Hello, one and all. I have a question at a slight tangent. Fallen on from Paws and Carl's Trishaw race. If you're not sure what that is, if you're new to our channel, we've just put out, uh, well, putting out an Amma Waterways River Cruise down the Mekong series. And within these videos, we have a trishaw race. Can anyone name the vehicles? 11 in total from the wacky races and no I, Googling. I need a pen, now. Are you going to have a go? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be 11. I think we'll have to come back to that, David, because I, I know one. You know. <laughs> um, right. So let's see. So Andy and Carla are here, uh, joining us from a very wet Lancashire. Looking forward to the chat here about the birthday weekend plans. Thank you so much. Andy and Carla's also asking, what's the matter? You're going making notes now. Um, I don't know if you've seen over social media and stuff. I only found, I only... I only wrote one, and then I realised I don't know the names of anybody. So I'm going to come in with, I think it was called the Arkansas Chugabug. Was it? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> or was it the Buzzsaw Special? I don't know. But So on social media, it looks like Cunard, there was quite a few events coming up for the Queen Anne that started before we get on our inaugural cruise, which we announced last week on the 3rd of May. Now, there's been um, a travel agent day cancelled hasn't there on the 29th and i believe there was some before that too and our vip uh, um, invite was for the first of may and as it stands um we've still got that whether they'll cancel that i don't know because it seems that they've um they wanted to concentrate on nearer the time obviously getting everything ready and making sure that the staff are ready so hopefully thing it'll go 
ahead as planned, uh, and in Carla, we're just keeping everything everything cross. But we did also hear another rumor that they're still putting the carpets down. Yeah, but these happen, don't they, on the mm. getting everything ready? Yeah. So um, we but will bear see. Bearing in mind, bearing in mind, the maiden was originally booked for January. Yes, yeah, so we're already so five months pushed back, aren't we? Four months. Four months. Four months. Four months. Four months. So Kevin B's here. So yo 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 from damp and cool Long Island. Peace, <laughs> peace. Ah, and it's obviously a wet, wet and windy in Blackpool. So nice to see Amanda here too, and sunny in Somerset with Kengo's cruising. <laughs> so getting them apples growing, ready for some Thatcher's gold. Yes, Patrick and Francis are here. So love to you guys. Evening and Reese is here. Happy Thursday to you all from a cloudy Surrey, UK. I have seen your message, um, Reese. I just haven't had time to respond, so you know what I mean. Um, right. So let's see. So Hawks Travis said, been a bad week for us. So I've been looking forward to chilling and laugh with yours. Oh, sorry to hear that, guys. So hopefully we'll cheer you up. Now, Reese said, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If Paulie does both thumbs on screen as he reads this, the special graphics should happen. Does it? Oh, fireworks. <laughs> Woo. That's cool. Oh, dear. Oh, it's just crazy. That is crazy. What else can I do, Reese? Give me something else to do. So, Barbara's really excited because she's just completed a packing for Iona Cruz of yours this Saturday. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. So, let's have a look. Um, where's the first question? Rose is asking, is the group cruise on Pin Princess now closed? No, it's not. We haven't pushed it because uh, we've got plenty of people on board, but it's not closed. So if you do want to um, join us on the Sky Princess in May 2025, just go to our website and check out the group cruise page and get in touch with Dan. Get in so touch with Dan, not... but you do have to book it through, Dan. Yes, you do. And Claire's saying, what's the first thing we should do when boarding Sky Princess? Well, what now? This is the thing, that well, because what used to be the first thing to do when you boarded Sky Princess was everybody wants to eat because you're always hungry and it's a lot of excitement and you want a beer and you want something to eat. Now, the first thing we always used to do is we would go to Alfredo's or Alfredo's, as Carol calls it. <laughs> but now, Alfredo's or Alfredo's. <laughs> Isn't included. It was free. You go in there, pizza, um, That's pasta very good. thing, salads, desserts, all included in your cruise fare. But what Princess has done, and what I liked is when they announced this, they turned it around like they were doing us a favor. So look what we've done for you because we love you. We're going to charge <laughs> you for stuff. No. So it's now you you have to have a certain Princess package. I don't know the exact one, Princess Plus or something that then allows you to visit Alfredo's. But if you're going to pay, I think Alf Alfredo's is always very, very quiet on boarding day. Yeah. Because people didn't realize that Did it was free. Yeah. Now it's going to be quiet on boarding day because it's not free. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have to find a new so entry, Paulie. If, so if you're... If your name's Bob Matter, the first thing you do is you go to pool with that and you have a cheeseburger. Yes. Even though I did notice this time that he had a pizza and drove, broke from tradition. He did, he did. But, yeah, I mean, for us, that would be the, usually the first thing. But if it's a lovely day, up to the pool deck, they got a, a, a nice burger bar up there. There's hot dogs, burgers, salads, all that sort of stuff. Get yourself a seat by the pool, ready for the Sail Away Entertainment. Yes. Princess always do a very good party on the pool deck now you'd expect that most cruise lines do pool deck parties but actually not all do out. it does seem to be dying yeah. out carnival do them a fantastic oh, one they don't go, they they go they, mental they go ballistic but P princess always do a very good uh sail away party yeah. so we'll definitely be out there to to enjoy that nick's just saying question um is paulie morgan a leo like me if so what date yes i am a big old show off leo he is am i giving my date away? Tw tw 20th of August. Yes. So right on the end of being a Leo, which is probably why I'm not quite such a big show off. I'm not saying a word. So Lynn, Lynn and Tom are here, the jam people. So thank you so much, <laughs> the jam people. Oh, no, it was lovely to see you here. So thank you. So gosh, lots of people saying hello, hello, hello. Let's have a look to the fight, see if we can find a question through it all. 
And Jane's saying it's never too early to celebrate. August will be a great month. It should be a very it good month. Be a good month, yeah. So Corinne's asking, is it chilly in Gloucester wearing hoodies? Do you know, it is. Uh, Corinne, we were sat here. I said, I'm really cold. I'm going to put my hoodie on. I don't know if you can see our um, it's nothing hoodies. To do, nothing to do with product placement. No. But you can see we've obviously got hoodies. I've got a turquoise one and pink one. Paul's got a navy one and a pink one. And there are other blue colours available. So if you are interested, and they are fab. They're full zip down the front so they don't have to go over your head and spoil your hair and they're lovely we wore these all the time we we're in japan didn't we, we and did. they've really lasted uh well and no people problems thought at all. that we didn't have any other clothes exactly which exactly. we didn't which we didn't it's not gold clothes so um so nick's saying is it me or just put in mind anyone with max headroom who's max headroom so carol wouldn't know that that don't know Matt that Edwin is. was um I don't know what show he was on, but he was a roboty bloke and he had hair that went at night mine and he would talk, talk, and now and again he would free like that. Oh, was he? Yeah. Wasn't he um do you know I'm gonna go on a tangent now? I thought it was like somebody like Bobby Davro that did it or something, but I'm probably wrong about that. But yeah, he yeah, he needs to be a bit straighter, I think, for Max Edwin, but well, I don't mind, Nick. I'll remember that. I did start. <laughs> I did start it with a shoebox comment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Stella saying uh, hi from Cork Island. So lovely. And Donna's sixty next week. So have a great birthday next week. So let's have a. Everyone talking about jam, 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 jam. Everyone's talking about scones as well. Cornish is the way, says David Webb. Jam then cream definitely says Mandy. Martha's absolutely jam first every time. Well. Mm. And Morris is here. So Morris asking, good evening, everyone. Question, favourite cheese after dinner on a cruise? Ooh, we do love cheese. We do love cheese, and I have to say... The smellier, the better. I do like a nice blue cheese after mm. it. I would never think about having a cheese plate at home, but when I'm on a cruise, I do like a nice cheese plate, and my go-to would be some sort of... Um, some sort of blue cheese. Yeah. But I'm said that. I really did... like a, a really sharp, mature, extra mature cheddar. Oh, yeah. I yeah, do. I do. Um... But, um, I do like a blue cheese. Mm. Cream, jam, cream. Everyone's talking about that. Um, let's see. Anyone ever try polina or fruit past the jelly? Ted, no. I don't know that. No. Do you? Well, you've confused us now, Ted. You're going to have to ditch, ditch the dirt now to know, so we know what we're on about. And Tina said, uh, no tea tail talk to like just jam and cream laugh out loud. <laughs> ah! So let's have a look. Um, well, let's see if we've got any questions there. So question here. So Mark's just saying, oh, Shanna, have you ever sailed or planned to sail on then? Your, it's done thoughts of considering them after usually sailing celebrity. We haven't. Have we been on Oceana? Have... But we know Ken and Lindsay that are in the um, chat at the moment love Oceana, and they just booked another one. They are definitely on our uh, our to-do list, but we haven't got anything planned at the moment, have we? No, we want to wait until they're down to about 4 nine nine for a week, and then we'll be all over it, won't we? <laughs> Uh, Catherine Hawkins is saying, quick dip in to say happy birthday, Paul. It's not Paul's birthday, it's in August, but best wish from the Danube. Yeah, Catherine's on a river cruise. I've been following her um, on social media, and she looks like she's having a fantastic time. So, um, so that's but Thank uh, you for your yes. very kind early birthday message. It's very much appreciated. Jim and Dwayne are saying, did Paul buy shares in Bee Gees? <laughs> sure, <clears throat> we'll say it's doubles in the last month. I didn't even know there was a... Um... Is that going to be a thing like, you know, you get your carnival shares? You get bum gun shares. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ours are being sent from Dubai as we speak, yeah. aren't they? So that's very exciting. Very generous of um, of Tom and Helen, and they should be on the way. So we've got lots of gifts, isn't it? We've got jam and we've got a bum gun. <laughs> yeah, it's all there, mine. Ah. Which, obviously, with the, chili, with the chili jam, might go hand in hand. <laughs> Right, see, the world's here and is asking, which cruise line surprised you the most in that you didn't expect to like it as much as you did? Two have popped in my head. Have you got anything to... Um... I, if I... The first thing that came to my head is Cunard. Because yeah. I would say now that Cunard is probably... you. The first thing you think about Cunard is snooty, tooty, and what have you. And unfortunately, a lot of bloggers out there still portray it at that, but it's not... Um, really, really surprised me how much 
fun a Q nor a cruise is. They have great entertainment. Some of the theatre entertainment is a little bit old fashioned, to be fair, but I think that's because they're sticking with their traditions and, you know, more power to you. If you want to go and see, you know, a 180 degree LED screen around the stage and yeah. 500 people on stage, then you ain't going to get it with We've Q-Nod. had some great music acts on QNOD, haven't we? And we love the Queen's Room Queen's and the, room. the grandeur of the big band yeah. and the orchestra. Um, so yeah. uh, that. I agree. Probably two that bumped gone into my bumped into my head <laughs> is Saga. I thought we were going to go on Saga and think, yes, this is fine, it's lovely, but actually, we thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed yeah. it. The um, standard of food was absolutely phenomenal. The comfort of the cabins was just spot on, yeah. wasn't it? Um, and the entertainment was very good too. And the other one that popped into my head was Carnival. We wanted to try Carnival out of Miami to see if it is as mad as what people say it is. And actually, yes, it is as mad as what people say it is. However, the Carnival celebration that we were on still had areas on the ship where you could go and find quiet. And it was brilliant, wasn't it? So if we wanted a mad night or a mad couple of hours, we would go and join in where all the activity was. And then you could always find somewhere quiet. And I loved the celebration. I thought it was a really, really um, fabulous ship. And again, fabulous entertainment. Yeah, very, uh, very good. if you wanted to get away from the, the, the sort of madness entertainment, not the band, just generally bonkers which a lot of it is there was lots of smaller places we saw a solo singer on there that was fabulous yeah and there was a band every night in like um they had like a smokehouse yeah where they did like burgers and ribs and all that sort of stuff and they had a band in there every night and they were super yeah so, and they yeah. have a Cuban club. A, oh, and a Cuban and club, it, yeah. So it, it was fantastic. More, yeah, so, so I would I, definitely go on one of the yeah. – I don't know whether I'd try one of the older carnival ships. I think if I did choose another carnival ship, I'd like to go on one of their bigger ones because it had that yeah. um, diversity. You could get it. If you yeah. wanted to be a part of it, you could. And if you wanted to yeah. get away with it, you could. Yeah. And maybe on a smaller ship, you might not have that option. No, but maybe we need to try yeah. it. That's when you wish you lived in Florida, isn't it? Because you see these bargains come up, you know, because they, they go out of um, Miami in that uh, all the time. So Jerry's just asked, oh, Jerry's, oh, Ken's saying as well, um, we sailed on Riviera last year and booked for Vista next year. Uh, very special. Yeah, Ken and, and Lindsay love, love Oceana. Jerry Capstick says, as our meetup still on, it certainly is. It definitely um, is. We're heading down to uh, Southampton, aren't we? And having a meetup with all our patrons and members. So that'd be well, it's very exciting. Re regardless, Jerry, regardless of what happens with the... Um, yes, the 1st of May. The Queen Anne situation on the 1st of May. Even if they cancel that, we're still going to We're gonna still going to come down. Yeah. So, so um, it's not a problem. Yeah. Jolie said, I'm loving the channel. Well, thank you, for, thank you very, very much. Windy, cold, and snowing in Saskatchewan, Canada. Love that word. Love that word. Which one? Windy, cold, and or snowing? <laughs> Saskatchewan. So Donna. So Donna and Scott are here. So hi, guys. Creepy Coop was one on the Wacky Races. Too old to remember anymore. The Creepy Coop. I can't, I can't remember what Penelope Pit Stops. Mean Machine? Is that one? I don't know. I can't remember Penelope Pit Stops, and I can't remember what um, Dick Dastardly was called. I know it was... I can't remember. I was, Let us know in the comments. His number was double O. Elaine's here. So lovely to see Elaine. Elaine's one of our new patrons. We had a chat on Zoom the other day, and that was that was lovely. And Tony said he's on 35 days until you're on Sky, Sky Princess. Princess. Lovely. Martha saying her uh, routine on Sky Princess is straight to the Wakeview Bar for a glass of something fizzy to celebrate being back. Yeah, and that's a good spot there, isn't it? The yeah. bar with the yeah. little pool at the back. Yeah. That's a great place for sailaways, definitely. Yeah, Ken's saying about the getting into Alfredo's. Princess Plus two visits on Alfredo's. <laughs> Alfredo's. Princess Plus two visits on Plus Unlimited on Premier. Yeah. So you have to buy the package to have that. And Alfie's here. So let's see, Alfie, we all started off in Yeah, because yeah. it's a great spot, isn't it? Because it was quiet. And where everyone's sort of, where the buffet gets manic, doesn't it? On, um, I hate going to the buffet. We always try to avoid the buffet on um, embarkation day because it just gets mad. And we don't really want to sit down formally, do we? Because no. um, we're too excited. We're rushing around, having a look at everything. Yes, and Cruising Gay's just uh, saying that. Rock Docs, so Keith's here. Will there be group cruise merch? I'm getting hot now. I'm getting all whew, having a moment. Um, 
Will there be cruise group merch? Yes. Yes. Um, we've, I've just had a meeting with our, our merch lady this <laughs> week. Yeah, we did. We were chatting. And um, we've got some uh, T-shirts and some polo shirts and some lanyards and lots going on behind the scenes. So looking forward to, to seeing that when it's done. Oh, I have a look. I've got all. So let's see. Jeffrey's asking, are you on Cunard's Queen Anne? Yeah, if you missed our video last week, uh, we've basically been invited to a um, bit like a shakedown type VIP night, two nights before the third. And then we're actually booked and paid for uh, the inaugural cruise. God, I can't remember when we paid for that. Um, like long hundred, time ago, like it seems. Like years ago. Yeah. I think the Titanic was still sailing yeah. when we booked this cruise. So we are, and we're really looking forward to, um, to seeing uh, what she's like. Ah, cream gray say, of course you can get sliced, can't you? On the pool deck. So you can get pizza. There's uh, on the pool deck. Yes. So that's oh, yeah, maybe where got, we um, Yeah, because you've got the yeah, burger place all yeah, inside and, and the so, pizza yeah, place. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that. So let's see. Um Red Dwarf, Ken says. Just, <laughs> I don't know. Is he just making uh, stuff up now? Just talking about our lovely uh, merch lady, uh, Stephen uh, Nicola here now. So I call the car sorry late. It doesn't matter. With these lives, people dip in and out, and it's just lovely to see you all here. So like I say, if you've got any questions for us, make sure you do write them in the comments, and we will ask them when we when we spot them. Alfie said Max had his own show. I thought he – I'm not disputing that, but I thought it started off as he was like – um a bit like the Simpsons because they used to be in Tracy Ullman's show and then they got their own show. I thought, but I, yeah, I, I'm not going to dispute that. I'll to be fair, but obviously it's before my time, which is why I can't marry it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Susan's saying her birthday's two weeks, uh, your birthday's two weeks before hers. Mm. So let's see. So still, um, yes, Robin, hey, strangers, hope you're both well. We're good, thanks. Uh, it's Guernsey's biggest cruise blogger, isn't yes, it? Yes, he's a top, top So lovely Guernsey to see blogger. you here, Robert. We haven't seen you for a while. So Donna's asking, out of all the river cruises, which line is your favourite? Yeah, that's a difficult one because the three itineraries that we've done were very, very different. And the experience was very different, wasn't it? For those that don't know, we've done three river cruises now. One with Tui, which was our first one down the Danube. Second one was with Avalon which was down the Rhine. And the third one, which we've obviously just recently done, is the Mekong River Cruise with Amber Waterways. Now, because we've just done it and it was such a fantastic experience, the, the Mekong sticking in my head, it was, head, fresh it was head, such yeah. a unique experience. And um, for those that haven't seen, I've got a little, I've got some, I've got some banners, Paulie. <laughs> if you haven't seen it already, we've, um, check out our vlog series that is on, on the moment. I've got still got Donna and things question there, haven't I? So if we um uh hide that, you'll be able to see that. And um and this week we've also got our this was the most not difficult episode to put together, but it was a very emotional episode to put together because this is when we started learning about Cambodia's dark history, wasn't it, Paulie, and the killing fields. Why is that bad for? Because the badge is always there. Oh, okay. Um <laughs> and so where is it? I can't, can't get out. So um, for those... Just talk want... and stop Sorry. clicking and talk. For those that want to, to know about the Mekong River Cruise, obviously our, our series is no good. But putting that, editing that together, I went back and forth and back and forth about how we would do it to, to show, to give it justice of the the monstrosities that the people and two of the guides um, on our river cruise actually were affected. They were kids, weren't they, during yeah. that time? And they were telling it. Well, you'll see. Watch the video. Um, that's out tomorrow because it was just harrowing and so emotional. Um, so for me, doing the Mekong River Cruise uh, was a very, very special experience. Saying that, Tui, which is a, a more of a budget river cruise line, was a lot of fun, and we sailed the Danube, and that was good. But if you prefer the finer things in life, Avalon's food and shit was absolutely spectacular, it was wasn't it? So they all offered three different but just, experiences. But just to be devil's advocate or whatever their other words go with this, I would happily go on any three of those river cruise yeah. lines again without any question, but all totally different. So let's, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. 
So let me see. Let's see what else we've got here. We've got... Um, I've gone past there because now I've lost my space, Pauline. Well, that's because you're scrolling up and down. <laughs> scrolling up like and down. Like a fiddler's elbow instead uh, of just going in order. Rose is asking, have we ever tried Norwegian brown cheese? No. We've no. tried reindeer, haven't we? I'll tell you what I have had. What? And I don't think they did it on the last one, but when we were on Azamara, they did. It's called Norwegian school bread. Yes. And it's like a donut. With a load of creamy custard stuff inside, it's mm. absolutely spectacular. But the problem is, I didn't know about them until we were like a week, ten days into the cruise, and it was a guy who um, came from Norway, had moved to Australia, and he was all over it. And he said, "Have you tried that yet?" And I said, "No." I said, "Because like they did it at the little mosaic cafe there, but of course they bring like a plate for that, and they're gone." So. We ordered breakfast in the room the next day, and I wrote on there, even though it wasn't on the menu, please may I have some yeah. Norwegian school bread, and they delivered two to my room, and they were absolutely bonkers. Asamara, great with breakfast. Nothing to do with Norwegian brown cheese, I'm sorry. No. It, it's got Norwegian yeah. in it, so that's as close Because I was right on there as well, can I have some Marmite, and they yeah. said Marmite as well. Yeah. So if you're ever with Asamara and you want particular things, just write it on there. So um, Kevin B is asking, non-travel related, I'm all caught up with Death in Paradise, and I'm working my way through QI. Any other suggestions from your side of the pond for good programs? <clears throat> We've just finished watching He's Trigger. All caught up in I Death in Paradise. What, episodes. Yes. Um, Trigger Point has just been on, which we've thoroughly just enjoyed watching, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, two series of Trigger Point. Mm. Watch them from the beginning. They're very good. It's, I think it's only six episodes uh, ago. Um, if you want to go right back one of the best things going back about probably 10 15 years even longer is a thing called spooks yes and it's all about mi5 agents but it's gone right back in the day so i mean what we talked 15 20 years ago well but at probably. least i thought but go back and get because i yeah. thought it was fabulous when we watched that i thought it was an absolute yeah. game changer there'd been nothing like it on the tv so Very give, good. Give, give that a roll there's quite a lot of uh, broad church a broad church, broad church well, so they that's did, a little bit older well they, did, well they did broad church in england but they also did broad church in america and david, oh, did Tennant, they? And david Tennant was in both of them oh okay so, I didn't know and that. interestingly we saw Olivia Coleman being interviewed, who's in Board Church, and I don't know if people know this or not. It's nothing to do with travel whatsoever, but she was the only person in Broad Church in the program that knew who. Mm. I'm not going to say who the killer is in case you haven't watched her, but she was the only person that was imparted with the information of who the killer was, and even the person who was playing the killer didn't know they were the killer until it got to the point where they had to film those episodes. So all the way through, she was the only one that knew, which I think is absolutely yeah. bonkers, really. So, yeah, any of them, Kev, really. Jeff is just saying, uh, and Maiden Voyage. Yeah, it is yeah. the Maiden Voyage. Yeah. Janie's Will is asking, book with a travel agent or book direct online, which is best? Travel agent. We've got a brilliant travel agent called Dan, which you may have seen in our previous lives. We've tried it all in the past. We've booked direct. We've booked through travel agencies. Um, we've booked on the high street. We've booked all sorts, haven't we? We've booked uh, on the low street. Yeah, exactly. So um, we know with uh, we've got Dan. Um, he'll often beat the online price. Um, it'll match it, definitely, and sometimes beat it. He can get you more sort of onboard credit, etc. And it's not just that. It's just when things go wrong you will truly understand um, the value of a travel agent because when things go wrong, which have done for us in the past, he's been on the end of that phone and been sorting things from uh, Shoreside when he's been at yes. home. And so it's when things go right, you think, oh, I'll just book direct or do whatever. But for us, having a travel agent has been priceless. It's like most things in life. You never know how good something is until it goes wrong because if everything is going swimmingly, it's yeah. like there's all these like igloos and 118s and all that. And yeah, and are. you know, lots of people and use them. They, that lots of people use them, and you can get some good deals. But when things go wrong, can't you'll get be hold of anyone. Banging your head against a brick wall. We had that so, with igloo, didn't we? Yeah. yeah, you can't get hold of anyone. And when you do, and they, and they had me over for almost 400 pounds as well. Yeah. So 
that's our experience. So, but but now we found Dan, we we're just in heaven, aren't we? Because it's just so so easy. So um, let's see. Nick's asking, is there one cruise line that stands out the most for you? If so, why? Oh, that's hard, isn't it? Mm. Virgin stand out for me because they suck no i like virgin <laughs> paul was the fan the thing that's popping into my head is morella morella always and it's the staff on the morella that just make me smile because they're always just so happy i've never seen on consistently when you go on different lines you'll see very you'll see happy staff you'll have good service but morella the staff are just so happy aren't they so that's what sticks out well, yeah me. that's interesting because um we're going on a little tiddlery p and o Yes, and it's a small ship, and everyone is oh, it's just totally different to the bigger ships. The staff are better. Mm. There's this, there's that, the other. Every single Morella Stroke Thompson cruise that we've been on, Thompson, that's a blast from the past. Blast from the past. The service has been consistently really good and really, really friendly. And it's just not just about good service; it's about friendly service, service with a smile. And mm. we've experienced that on every single ship, right back to the Thompson celebration and dream days. Yeah, right up to yeah. consistent. Right up to the Voyager. Yeah. Whereas even P and O aficionados will say, "Oh yeah, well, when you go on so and so, so and so, you know, it's a bit sort of well, we described it as very vanilla the service on IO. No, there was nothing wrong with that. It, you know, just it, a bit it, bland. It, 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 Vanilla's it got bland, bland though. I like vanilla. I'd say magnolia. Sorry, bland. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, so um, so yeah, for us, for me, that's uh, Morella Star. Corinne's just saying about Line of Duty as well, for Kevin. Oh, Line of yeah, Duty line is of fabulous great. as well. Yeah. Lynn's asking, uh, is the veranda on Queen Victoria worth the supplement? No, we went once. It wasn't on Queen Victoria. I believe it was on Queen Elizabeth, wasn't it, for Valentine's? I thought it was on Queen Mary, but I might be wrong. Was it? Yeah. And we had a great meal, but it wasn't a spectacular meal, was it? The meat wasn't cooked to as to our liking, but everything else about the meal, the whole um, event was fast. The fantastic. The ambiance was fabulous. Yeah. There was lots of elements of the meal that was great, but we went for a three steak sharing yeah. dish as the main, and we had a piece of fillet steak. And Carl went to cut it, and it moved and tried jumping off the. Plate. Yeah, that's how rare it was, and we didn't order it rare. We should have sent it back. Yeah, um, but we didn't because we didn't want we it because it was Valentine's. Well, and, and it but so, we should frustratingly, order. out of the the other two pieces of steak that we had, so it was different cuts, were fabulous. Yeah, they were. But the fillet steak, I've never, I'm not even exaggerating. Carol thought, well, I, I, what I do is I just cut them all yeah. in half, mate. We'll have half each on our plates. It squirted across. It did the table. squirt. But um, but the whole ambiance and that was um, was good. So yeah. just go there and be just very certain about exactly what you want, yeah. isn't it? Grace is here. So I love to see Grace. I haven't seen Grace for a while. And Anna and Mike are here. Oh, lovely to see you guys. Uh, sending you best wishes. Yes. So um, that's lovely. Dave is saying uh, Dick Dastardly and Mutley raced the Mimi machine. And Penelope Pitstop, Steve is saying no. uh, compact, compact pussy cat. cat. And there oh. was, the, and there was the one that was the gangster. Oh, what's it? Uh, no, I was going to say lavender or whatever. But there was a the one with the gangsters in, and they used to pick it up and carry it. And then the main gangster would say, "Okay, boys, make with the feet." <laughs> but I don't know what it uh. was called. And like I said, there was the two that used to have the stone clubs that used to hit each other with them. Yeah. I, I haven't watched it for donkey's years. I'm sure it? there was one called the Arkansas Chuggerbug. That's all I've got. <laughs> Grace said she loves the lamb pasta at Alfredo's. I've never seen lamb pasta. No. Mm. I've never seen Alfredo's lots of, either. <laughs> lots of uh, wacky racist uh, comments. Philip is here. Sorry, late. <laughs> oh, she's so good last uh, week being on time. Love a lanyard for my cruise guy. Yes. And the patrons are going to get special colours too, aren't they, Pauline? They yes. are. Yes. So Claire's saying she thinks the Max Headroom starts on the Kenny Everett show and then get his own late night show. Ooh. And Kirst is saying that looking forward to the QA vlogs we booked for 2026. Seems a lifetime away. Yeah, but it's soon come round. It'll soon come round. Um, 
Nigel's going on Morel Explorer in three weeks for my 70th on a Dubrovnik cruise. No, Lovely. Dubrovnik's fabulous. Yeah, Adriatic. That's a fantastic yes. itinerary. Striker Maguire, so he almost forgot. <gasps> How could you? No. So Travel Life with Lucy is here. So is asking, are there any specific cruise ports you really want to visit that you haven't been to yet? Lots. I'm desperate to get to the South Pacific and New Zealand, and there's lots of um, cruise ports around there. I think um, hopefully we're going to get that in the calendar. I've already sowed the seed with Dan, and he's already looking for, for the beginning of the year 2026 to get that ticked off. Can you think of... Um, I know nothing, so... You know nothing? No, I don't know any place. There's some Greek ports I would like to get get to that we haven't visited because we've only done a little bit of Greece on the cruise, but we've done lots of land, land holidays, base, yeah. haven't we? But we're oh, desperate to get back to Greece. Um, but yes. Alf is saying, Max had a short movie first, which explains how he came to be. The show followed, loved it. And Dave said, would you consider returning to Alaska? What itinerary would you consider? Yes, we would. Yes. I'm sure I answered a very similar question to this earlier. Um, what, did you do another live without me somewhere? It's, it's not just all about <laughs> you, mind. You've got your own show? Yes, I have. <laughs> ah! no, it was on Instagram. Somebody asked me a question on Instagram. Um, yes, definitely would. And... You, I don't know the itinerary, but you know the itinerary where it goes. What was the one that Reese did? Who's in the chat tonight? Reese did a, and I'm sure he'll put the details here. He did a very interesting where he, we did land base over to Canada and got on the cruise in Vancouver. He then went on a, a land base. He did the Yukon Trail in Alaska. I think it's called the Yukon Trail. Please um, let us know, Reese, in the comments. So, but I think the itinerary, the cruise itinerary was, was, um, the same as ours, but the land-based one was different. I thought there was a different itinerary you could do. You can, there is. You can do. Um, you can go further up to Anchorage, so you can do go a little bit further north. So for me, uh, as a first timer to Alaska, I would definitely do the the one that we did, which was going through the Inside Passage, Glacier Bay, and you do Skagway, um, Juno, Juno, and Ketchikan, because that's a really great way to introduce yourself yeah. to Alaska. Now, if I go back, I would definitely look at getting to Anchorage. And I think there's, there's a place called, is it Sitka? Or something, some different ones that are further north. So uh, there are, some you have to fly into Anchorage, some you fly into Vancouver, some you fly into Seattle, actually. You can do it that way too. So Nick said, how do we get our cruising buddy Big Dave and Steve joins on Patreon? Can you give them a shout out? They celebrated the first wedding anniversary yesterday. Well, congratulations, Dave and Stevie. Big Dave and Stevie. Just go to our Patreon and join. Just it's get it's on very, there. very easy. Corinne James, should I order my hoodie ready for Southampton meetup? Yes, you should, because I just did. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Yes, we'll be we'll be, I'm sure. Uh, we're in ours. Trouble is, though, if everybody buys a hoodie for this Southampton meetup and then we all hang them up as we go into the <laughs> no, restaurant, no. we might spend like a week ah. trying to get the right ones back. Life of the Park saying they love school bread. I first sat at the Norway Pavilion at Epcot and it was delicious. Mm. Oh, wow. Bridge says she's woke up for the live, so thank you for that. And Shreds and Threads saying school bread's heavenly it is. Michelle's late to the party. Hello. So Danny is just saying over 500 Newfoundlands, Newfoundland, how do you say that? Newfoundlanders. Newfoundlanders. Re recently on Celebrity Apex, all over social media in these parts, apparently was on Massive Kitchen Party, a time had by all. Ooh. 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 Jonathan's just saying, I know river crews are not wheelchair friendly, but do you think a capable blind person could cope? Um, it depends on the itinerary that you'd pick. And I would be talking to the company about the excursions because that would be the big thing, isn't I it? I think you'd really struggle with the Mekong when we did because getting off the ship was quite precarious at times. Like we said last week, one of the times we were actually moored to a tree. 
Yeah. Tied to a tree. But a lot of the European ones, even if you're docked yeah. next to other ships, it's all very easy to navigate. Easy to navigate. And if you, you are in the centre of the cities, which the, as soon as you get out can be flat or just with mm. um, steps. But with the... Um, with your disability, then I'm sure there would be facilities with, yeah. for you to do that. So, but yeah, the Mekon, I think, would be difficult because it was just so uneven. It would be I pretty tricky. I think if you, like, if you were a wheelchair user, I would virtually say, like, River Cruise is not for you. But if, you know, being blind, as long as your uh, mobility is okay, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk you anyway. And, you know, on river cruising, because it's so small, we talked about this in our next video about solos on river cruising. Because river cruise is so small, um, everyone gets to know everyone, and everyone's really helpful. There was a lady that had some mobility problems with us, wasn't there? So we were all there yeah. to help. And not saying that you need help and stuff, but there will be people all around you going on all the excursions with you that would be able to direct you and support yeah. you in whatever way you needed. So I'll, actually, I wouldn't hesitate. Oh. And as a solo traveller, Bill, I think Bill was more sport than anyone on oh, our yeah. week on River Cruise because everyone, was, Bill, everyone but... was trying to look after Bill. So I think if you do have a disability that, then you know it is manageable. So Jen K is saying that uh, Spooks is called MI5 in the US. So I agree, it's great. Kate Clow's in the house. Woo! Kate is our um, our bag lady. <laughs> Sounds... Yeah, she's a bag lady. She lives in a local park. <laughs> no. She got one of them shopping trolleys and she collects cans up, all cans <laughs> no, and bottles doesn't. and stuff. And then Kate is a very talented one no. of my best friends who's uh, so talented. Um, <laughs> she won't be my best friend anymore no. after that. She knows you, Paul. She'll just be like, yeah, whatevs, whatevs. Um, and she makes all our bespoke um, Paul and Carol bags, which we've um, we've sold a few of our travel bags that have gone down really well. And she's working on some smaller uh, merchandise for us now, which we should hopefully have um, in the next couple of months, isn't it? We're looking at doing smaller ones that are a little bit less money. So lovely to see you here, Kate. So thank you so much. She's also my um, gardening and coffee buddy. Get on with it. Get on with it. Um, Bridge is saying, Who do you want to be Queen Anne's godmother? I hope the Prince Anne's schedule would allow it, or Zara because she's cool and Mike comes along too. Didn't they announce it's going to be, um, or is that for another ship? That's another ship. That's another ship. Yeah, you thought it was going to be Hadda Waddingham, didn't you, or whatever her name is, off Ted Lasso? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's, no, that's a different ship. Oh. Silent Witness, Witness is amazing. Yes, that is. That's another good one oh, well, for that's you, been going for Kevin. Years yeah, well, we yeah. love Silent Witness. Yeah. Um, so let's have a look. Tina said she loved This Is England series. Have we watched that? I don't think. Um... Oh, yeah, I've, I've watched it. Yeah, that's very yeah. good as well. Because that's got Stephen Graham in it. And I don't think I've mm. ever seen a bad thing. He's a fantastic actor, isn't Stephen he? Stephen Graham, and he's fabulous. He was also in um, Kevin, even though your name's not on the screen. Have you watched Boardwalk Empire, which has got um, Steve Buscemi in, and um, Stephen Graham's in that as well? So that's a yeah. good series. Carol has well, she don't watch it. I just watch it on Paul my watches own. a lot of telly on his own yeah. while I'm working and editing video. No. <laughs> uh, so the Anthill mob. Ant -Hill the, mob that's it, the Anthill mob with the gangsters. Yeah. Okay, boys. Of course, you already said it. Um, lots of people said it before, actually. I've yeah. scrolled down. And Yvonne said it. The Anthill mob. Make with a feet. Yes, that's it. Life of Lucy Glynia. So I guys are off on the MSC Poesia. 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 You're not well, enjoy that, yourselves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on, my, on, my, all... <laughs> on my MSC ship. <laughs> Paul says, um, the Anthill mob with the gangsters and wacky races. So, um, and Bridget's saying, don't know if the white collar made to the UK based on the FBI guy that the movie Catch Me If You Can is about. No, no, I've not seen that. Paul is also saying South Pacific and New Zealand's and mine and Grace's dream cruise. Yeah, that's next on our bucket, bucket list. Bucket list, bucket list. Dawn's here, she's had her lashes done, ready for her, her princess cruise. <laughs> Fjord's here, we come. That's is that compulsory? Is it? No, but you can have your lashes done, lots of ladies do. So, Jason, bulletproof bomb was that another one? I don't know. <laughs> 
So Deborah's asking, are you watching Race Across the World? No, we've got it actually uh, taped. Well, not taped. So we've got we it taped on our <laughs> video cassette player, <laughs> on our VCR. <laughs> on our Betamax. No, um, on our Sky Planner. Um, because I know they're going through Japan, aren't they? And I want to watch it because obviously they, we, I know this because we've got a lovely chat in our Discord group on our patrons and lots of people are talking about it there. So we must catch up with that. Um, which big, one, this one? Big Dave. So Big Dave and Stevie here, we don't want to be missing out. Thanks, us. Also, do you remember Super Ted? Super, Super Ted, Ted was a bit after my time. What I remember, and as soon as I say this, most of the people in the chat go, ah, oh, was Super Gran. A Super Gran. But not Super Ted. Oh. I remember Super Gran. Yeah. Vaguely. What did she do? She was like a Gran and she was a superhero. Oh, yeah. And Billy Connolly used to sing did the theme Did she wear to, anything? Hang about, watch out for Super Gran. <laughs> So your Scottish accent. Aye, that's Aye. right. So our uh, Reese said, so cruise was the same, but we went up to College Fjord and finished at Whittier, then land tour to Anchorage, Denali, Fairbanks and the Yukon. Only how does Yukon part? Yes. So um, so that would be something that we would consider next time. It was very different. Rachel's asking, how do you keep up to date with all your cruise ship knowledge? Well, just because we cruise a lot and I'm, I read a lot and I'm more, <laughs> and I just tell Paul. Ah. She tells me and then a week later, She'll say something, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what you're on about, mate. She well, I told you like a week ago, but I don't listen. He doesn't. He switches off. Alfie says he's looking forward to – look. I'm looking at going solo on a river cruise. Alfie, honestly, it is – Um, it just – well, I know Bill, who was on ours, was having a, a whale of a time, and everyone's well, just so friendly and, and so lovely. And if you remember on the Europeans one as well, there was always solos on there. And they were always welcome into the group when there's quizzes and all that yeah. sort of stuff. It's fabulous. Yeah. Kevin said he loved uh, Boardwalk Empire, Old Atlantic City. Latest, I said, are you going back to Alaska this season? No, we're not. Um, we would love to go back at some point, but there's other yeah. um, places that we want to go. Jill and Sandra are saying, do you think the Queen Anne will have the same Cunard fill? Very good question. We don't know. I think it's going to, from looking at the renderings that have been put out there, it looks like a very classic uh, Cunard ship that's just been modernised. So I'm hoping that the atmosphere with the staff and with the entertainment um, and everything like that, it will be maintained. Yes, totally. So I think sometimes it's not about the decor. It's about, you know, the, the service that you get on board. So... Kengo Cruz said he loves Peaky Blinds being coat with so a bit of vinyl. We still haven't watched still that, haven't have watched we? The trouble is with Carol, I love her dearly, but when it's that's a long series, Peaky Blinders, and I, when I start watching summer, I just want to be on it. Bang, 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 let's have it. Carol be like, oh, yeah, I want to watch the FBI first. So, and Chicago PD, and Chicago, and then all of a sudden it's bedtime. So if I start, if I started watching Peaky Blinders, I'd want to watch 20 episodes a week. Carol would want to watch two. So, we'll just watch it then. I'll just watch it. There you go. <laughs> Can I have that in ah, writing? Your quiz mates here, Jackie. Finally made it to a live, busy life as a retired lady. Yes. Mm. It's funny, isn't it? Because when you do retire, it's bizarre because you think, oh, I'm going to have all this time on my hands. And it's like, where does the day go? But it's lovely doing it on your own terms, isn't it? So I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. I look forward to doing it on my own terms, but <laughs> I'm still working for Carol. <laughs> Oh, Kevin's just saying just uploaded spooks. Yes, you'll enjoy that. You'll really enjoy that. And Emma's just saying, love the Thursday lives. Thank you so much. What would you about to say? I have got such a random tangent oh. with spooks. Okay. I didn't know this until probably, I probably knew it about a year ago, but everybody who's not English now or old like me, it'll just be... <sighs> but there was a kid's programme called Here Comes the Double Deckers. Yes. Get on board. Get on board with the Double Deckers. The man who plays Harry in Spooks, which Kevin's going to get the benefit of when he starts watching that, was one of the Double Deckers. Mm. Boom. Knowledge is the boss. Oh. Deborah's saying taped. <laughs> Those are the days, you remember them, where you used to get your pencil to wind your... That's, really, that's, oh, that's a cassette, that's oh, music tapes. <laughs> I was just thinking tapes, and I was thinking you had to, when, you got all, when it got all slack, you had to, to wind that's it up. <laughs> cassette tapes. 
going back to the videotapes, and of course you had a little plastic tab on it. And if you broke that off, it means that you couldn't record on it. But then some knobber had always put a bit of tape over there, a bit of cellar tape, and then it would record. So you'd be watching some unimportant, like your wedding video, and then somebody's tape match of the day over it. No, we didn't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tina says she loved Hong Kong Fui. He was the one that came out the draw, wasn't he? Could be. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> and he was voiced by Scatman Carruthers. Right. Who was the janitor in The Shining. I knew I'd get there eventually. Oh. Lots of uh, Canadians in the house tonight. So lovely to see you, Barbara. So thank you so much. Is it the right sort of time, is it, for the... Yeah, okay. not too far behind. It depends where they are, because Canada's as big as we've learned. We were thinking uh, when we went to Boston that we could go back over to Calgary and visit Banff and stuff, because we love Banff. Seven-hour flight. And that's like going from the UK to the Middle East, isn't it? Oh, it's didn't, mad. Didn't um, Kevin say that there's five or six time zones in Canada? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you remember Banana Man? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, Charlton and the Wheelies. Yeah, I remember Charlton no. and Wheelies. But that's all a little uh, bit after my... Um... And Dave said, hello, little old lady. Is that to do with Supergram? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. I hope so. Oh, anyway, back to cruising. So uh, Lisa's saying, Silver Seas Cruise of Spain oh, in June. No, Dave said, Gudrun Ur, Ur, who played Supergram, is still with us. She must be 147. Oh, wow. So Lisa's asking, uh, Silver Seas Cruise of Spain in June, was it supposed to be the maiden voyage, but they cancelled the original? How far should I lower my expectations for a smooth voyage? I think when a maiden voyage, there's always staff are learning to work together. Um, so teams have only been working together for a short time. So sometimes service can be a little bit hit and miss. I think from a interior point of view of a ship, there could still be ongoing work. So there could be still carpets and stuff being put down or finishing touches. So... Um, you don't know, but then it all could be spick and span, and you could have an absolutely amazing time. We did the Morella Voyager was the last. What was how many maidens we done? That's it, isn't it? Oh, so the only one we've yeah. done is so a maiden. This will be our second, which is last year. And I have to say, the ship, everything was ready on the ship. Yeah, everything was fabulous. The only time it slightly fell down was. We went to the main dining room. We What we tried to do was we went to every speciality restaurant. restaurant. And everything was like clockwork. And the only time it fell down was in the main dining room. And the night we went there, because of what we, we were trying to do everything, was gala night. Yeah. And it was a little bit disjointed. And they did bring me a completely different meal out to what I ordered. Yeah. Other than that... Was no but you could see but, there the teams were learning to work with all, each other. Yeah, because you might have, because what they tend to do is they will, they won't have a new ship and everybody on that ship being completely new to Cunard. So what they'll do is they'll cherry pick people they get off, a lot of experience off the other staff. ships with the experience, but then they've still got a jail and work together. Yeah. And sometimes it doesn't come together quite in time for the maiden, but yeah. it will. We'll see in it. We'll see what's yeah. like on them. Um... Queen Anne. Emma's just saying, is it um, Apple Tag you using your luggage? Yes, it, yes, is. it is. For those of you who are asking, um, wondering why we're ask, Emma's asked this question, we did a video about when our case got lost in uh, Vietnam. So do check that out because um, we learned so much. And thank God we had Apple Tags, wasn't it? Because we could show them where it was. Barbara said, men operate in one mode, women are able to handle many things at once. That's very true, Barbara. Thank you for that. Well, it was true, Barbara, until Carol was trying to click on something. And then what she does is when she's concentrating on something, and then she starts. Jillian's <laughs> <laughs> uh, asking, would you consider her to Gruton expedition cruise? Yes, we would. I would love to do it. You're a little bit nervous about doing that sort of thing, aren't you? I'm not you? nervous about doing it. What I'm nervous about is because Carol tells me almost on a daily basis that I'm a tight wad. He is. And to do a multi-thousand pound, I know the new Hurty Gruton stuff is supposed to be fabulous, but to do a very, very, very expensive cruise on what could be on one of their older ships, basically a car ferry, 
she's biting her lip now a lot. Um, then no. Mm. But on the new ones, which was supposed to be very rooty tooty, the trouble is I put a lot of I put a lot of uh, sort of st- stuff on entertainment and food, and I got to get my head around the fact that if you're going to do an expedition cruise, and it doesn't even matter who that's with, because we've spoken to people like Gary Benbridge and Bob and Ollie who've done these expedition cruises, and what you got to remember is, is some mornings you've got to get up at five in the morning to do whatever yeah. you're doing, so you don't want to be in the rolling stone rock room until midnight banging your head to some acdc so that's why they don't go big on the entertainment plus the ships are very small so i need to sort of get my head around that so i'm already talking me way around to it yeah i probably would and you kind of got a valid point we're almost an hour and still not had your announcements ah yes you're gonna let people know what you've got booked for your first part of your birthday what have i got booked you know what you've got booked so I've only told people this already. No, not the general public. Oh, not the general well. public. Oh, the patrons are. Oh, so um, part <laughs> part one. Well, I'm sure it's going to be part one of um of many things. Part one of there's only going to be about three things. Is Carol has um, managed to speak to an executive chef, and they're making me a humongous cake, and all it is is Norwegian school bread. No, I haven't. It's not that at all. No, I have booked and. I'm more shocked about this than the fact that Carol said she wanted to come. I've booked and v- it's not cruise related. It's not cruise related. I've booked V. And everyone is going to be like, "Oh, what a waste of money!" I've booked VIP tickets to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to watch Tottenham Hotspur play Bayern Munich on August the tenth. We got VIP seats. We got pre three course meal dinner and two hours in uh, the H bar. We got half time drinks and snacks and then we got another hour at the end of the game to enjoy more drinks yes so i've never been to the new stadium it is reportedly mm. the best in the world or if certainly if it's not the best it ain't far off the best yes I'm very very excited and that goes with my pre other birthday thing was obviously i mentioned earlier which i bought a private number plate to go on my car uh, it's R22, which is my race number, because I do a bit of car racing. And the last three letters is P N C. So it's R22 P N C. Yes. So yes, yeah, so that's the start of Paul's um celebrations or the first thing he's got booked. And I know that you when he said about it, I thought I know that's his dream because obviously with Harry Kane gonna be there, isn't it? And you've obviously been a Tottenham fan since you were a young boy. And I'm quite excited about seeing the stadium and being part of that too. Well, two for, former Spurs players, because Eric Dyer also plays with Brian Munich now. Oh, does he? Yeah, he played last night. And obviously this weekend we're going to a different country, as we said. Guess where we're going? Oh, that was it. Yeah, I remember yes. that now. Anyway, thanks for... Oh, no. We're going to... Let's see who gets Barbados. first. Barbados. No, we're not. <laughs> we're taking our motor home, which if you've been... If you look at... Check our stores on Instagram. I've just spent about a week cleaning it because the weather we've had a bit abysmal and it was green on the outside. And we're going to sunny Cardiff. Yes. We're off to Wales <laughs> in the camper van. You know, people, that if you're new to our channel and new to watching our lives, we love cruising and we love traveling and we love going away in our motorhome. So last year we organized with a lovely couple called the Do Little Campers when we went away with them, um, met them just before we went to the Peak District, wasn't it? We did, yeah. Uh, we arranged to meet them. So we're off to, to sunny Wales. And the weather looks good. It looks sunny but cold. Um, so we're happy with that as long as we don't see any more rain. Um, so check out our posts on our social media of the weekend to see what we're up to there. We're actually thinking about going back to Barry Island as well. <laughs> because I know the same as I don't know people that don't know Barry Island. Barry Island is a little beach town not far from Cardiff. And I've got such fond... Um, childhood memories of going there and just sitting on the beach and eating uh, boiled eggs with my mum and dad. So we're hopefully going to, and David's a big train buff, isn't he? So we're hopefully going to jump on the train, head off to Barry Island, get out to the see the bay as well, isn't it? We do love yeah. Cardiff Bay and, and have a plus, jolly good weekend. Plus the fact that Barry Island was one of the locations where Gavin and Stacey were yes. filmed. And Nessa's Arcade is a real arcade yeah. in Barry Island. Yes. So we might pop in there too. We might pop in there and have a go on the O2P push machine (laughs) (laughs) Ah, right we're way over the hour now so let's see if we've got any more questions um lots of people still talking about uh compact pussycats (laughs) compads 
Batfink. What's Batfink? My wings are like a shield of steel. That was another cartoon, you think? Uh, um, Patrice is here. Uh, first time in your life. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Well, we do apologise yeah. for Patrice for because <laughs> there has been some random, random stuff on here tonight. Uh, well, that's what you got. If you're coming here open to have intelligent conversations, <laughs> it'll probably be your last time here. But hopefully no. you've enjoyed the banter, yes. which is um, synonymous with the Paul and Carol live. Exactly. Jamie and his magic torch. Ooh. Jamie, Jamie and his magic torch. Do you remember that, do you? Oh, of course I do. And Alf is just saying it's Brinsley Ford was Aswad. From Aswad was, was also in the devil's oh, act. Wow. Do you know I was going to say that, Alfie? But I thought, no, I don't <laughs> want to overload people. Wasn't... Jamie and the Magic Torch is dog called like Wordsworth or something. Anyway, but yes, he was. <laughs> Brinsley Ford was was. Oh my um, gosh! And Aswad was one of the first bands at Glastonbury, I think. Were they randomly? Yeah, I think so. Do you remember HR Puffin stuff? stuff? Yes. <laughs> do you? I do. Yes. Ah. And the Hairby Bunch. I remember the Hairby Bunch. In the Wonderland Zoo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But I don't remember Trapdoor. No, I don't remember Trapdoor. Help, help, help said, here come the bears. <laughs> I love to puff in stuff and witchy poo. Oh, dear. Frank and Jen late to the party, but thank you for coming. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if they just got uh, here, they're probably thinking, what the hell are they talking about now? Exactly. Stoner and Scott are saying Supergram was, fil was filmed in our neck of the woods and hubby watched the film on occasion. Cake ladies here said, question, would you say to get to the bar early in the evening do they fill up fast? It depends what you're doing. I guess you're talking about on a cruise ship. It depends because people move at different times around the ship. Again, depending on entertainment, depending on dinner, doesn't it? And there's lots of things that you need to take into account. What time's your dinner? Emily's in your party. Are you going to the shows? If you've got a big party and you want to try and all get together, then you need to er, – early is the key. But um, – there's no hard and fast rules. Just go with the flow. Exactly. Cole Max saying, uh, going on Queen Mary 2 next year to Norway, Iceland, Halifax, and finishing New York. Not a cruise route I've seen before. Have you? I know QNR do a lot of sort of transatlantics to New York, go up to, to Canada and also down to the Caribbean. I've not seen them do Iceland um, finishing New York. But, yes, that's great. Yeah. They've got some really good itineraries. And they do some 28-day ones, too, um, which I know a few people in the in the chat's done those, too. Tina says, Hurt Gruten sounds like the Swedish chef on the meta. Uh, it does. Uh, <laughs> ah, and Ken said, Grot Bags comes from their village. <laughs> There's somebody at the door. The door. There's, There's somebody, somebody at the door. <laughs> oh, dear. Corinne said, Paulie's singing, so I hope I can sing a duet with you at the karaoke and Sky next year. Of course you can. Yes. Yeah, that should clear the room, shouldn't it? You can hear a bit of Paul singing, actually, on our um, our current... It wasn't my best effort, i got to be well, honest. I but it's, it worth, it it's worth a look, but I've never sung it before. So Liz is saying, welcome. Born and brought up in Barry, live in Chepster now. Thanks for your info on Cruise, and you're welcome. Well, I grew up in Sedbury, where my, my bedroom window used to look over to Chepstow. So that's, that's awesome. Rose Bruce saying, Bill and Ben, the flower pot man. Oh, my God, we could go on and on and on, couldn't we? So um, I think we'll stop on Bill and Ben. Do Bill you think? and Ben, oh, flob -a -lob. <laughs> So thank you so much for everyone that's joined us on our on our live. We'll be here. Let me check because there's one week where we're going to have to do it maybe on a Tuesday or um, – but not yet. No, no, we're here next Thursday, same time, same place. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to see – Join us again then. Yes. Anything else you want to add, Paulie? Nothing at all. You've just upset. Look, Corin, look. Clear the room. How dare you, Paul? No, I meant me, <laughs> not you. <laughs> ah! I know that when we when we met, Corinne, you said that you wanted to sing a duet with me. I got full confidence that you'll be a good singer. It's just me. Maybe, I don't know, you'll have to pick a song for us then. So and Michelle <laughs> said, yes, uh, we visited Barry years ago because of Gavin Stace. Nice beaches, huge. Yeah, there's beautiful yeah. beaches. But anyway... We're off. So thank you all so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure as always. We're going to go in and draw some more jam. Jam, more jam and cheese. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's a strange scone, isn't it? Jam and cheese. I love jam and cheese. So, uh, yes. So we will see you 